What is going on guys? So today I'm excited to show you this townhouse located in the heart of the city. Now there's two things I really love about these townhouses. One is the architectural design. As you can see, they have the industrial look. And this is pretty much the theme going all the way throughout this townhouse. And two, it's its location. Yes, it's located in the heart of the city, but it is walking distance to the Atlanta Beltline. And if you don't know what the Atlanta Beltline is, then you're really missing out. Great recreational walking path to where you can get your walking in, you can rollerblade, you see people walking their dogs, see people on dates. Um, there's some areas where you can go and grab some food, you can go work out. And you can stop at other attractions like Pont City Market, Crog Street Market, just pretty much everything you would need. So great location. So here we are inside. Uh, when you walk in, of course, you're on the bottom level. This is a three-level townhouse. As you can see, that's the kind of living or main area there with your living room and your kitchen. Um, but yeah, you have a bedroom down here. And this townhouse does have its own type of character to it, as you can see with the tile on the bottom level. So checking out this bedroom, there's a couple things that I really like. One, it does have the access to the back uh, patio area. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. And this is the only entrance to that patio area as well. You do have concrete floors here, um, but they've done some type of painting or staining to it. Uh, leading up to the back patio, as you can see, good space. If you have a little dog, they would definitely love that space. Or if you do any type of gardening, that'll be good for you as well. I just wanted to stand from this corner so you can see the size of the room. It is a pretty decent size, good enough to have a bed, a couch, and a desk in it. Here is your bathroom, pretty generic bathroom. Um, you know, pretty much have everything you need, right? A tub, toilet, a sink, and yeah. And then you also have a closet as well. Walk-in, of course. I don't know if this uh, video is doing it justice, but it is a pretty decent space in there and just standing from this corner so you can see the size of the room as well. But enough of that, let's head upstairs and let's see what the rest of this house have to offer. To the left there is your garage. It is a full two car garage. And just wanna detail uh, the handrails as that theme, that industrial theme just continue through, throughout the house. So you actually have metal steps and then on top of the, the steps are wood. And this same wood matches the wood that's on the main level of the house going throughout. You do have a back patio area where you can hang out. And we'll check that out in a minute. But check this out. Wide open space. And this is an entertainer's dream right here, especially um, given this townhouse does have 2,000 square feet. Um, but they do a really good job of uh, using the square footage. So here's your kitchen. And we just take a little deeper look. I really like this uh, glass backsplash, if you call it that. Um, but that's a great way to let some light into the kitchen and add some character to it as well. Um, this kitchen does kind of remind me of kind of like a, a New York apartment where, where they have the, uh, the pantry. Um, but it definitely works for this space. As you can see, again, wide open. Got your dining and your living area. I love how they have the glass on the rails. Um, you could still host a Thanksgiving dinner here, you know? Um, and speaking of that, you do have guest parking. Um, it is kind of tight, but you do have some space throughout the community, and then you can park on the street as well. Here's your living space. Very wide open. Look how big that window is, letting in a lot of light. You do have the vaulted ceilings, a couple of ceiling fans up there. This space just feels very big, wide, and open. I would Definitely love to hang out here quite a bit, um, you know, do any type of work and just feel inspired looking out at the industrial designs of the other townhomes there. So let's stand from this angle and just kind of look back, uh, looking back into the kitchen and everything. And then upstairs is one more bedroom. So we're about to check that out and uh, see what it has to offer. So these steps are kind of the same as the one when you're walking up. And, um, you yeah, we'll just take a look down here as well. But... Steps are pretty much the same as when you're walking up. Same thing with the handrails, that uh, industrial design just kind of follow through. And upstairs you do have carpet. So it is carpeted um, all the way throughout in this bedroom. And here is the other bedroom. So another good size bedroom can fit another king size bed in here. And again, it is carpeted. 
You do get the vaulted ceiling, so it does make the room feel a little bit bigger, let in a little bit more light, and that's always a plus, especially in spaces where um, there's just not that much square footage. Uh, look, you got an office that's kind of tucked away into the bedroom, so additional recreational space, so you can get creative as well. And then you can just kind of look over into the living room. So it's almost like a loft type office. Is loft this a thing? But here's the bathroom, really huge shower, huge shower with the tub inside. Now, I would definitely love to know your thoughts about that tub being um, in the shower. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of it, but some people love it. Um, and it's a good way to, I guess, to incorporate both a tub and a shower uh, into a bathroom that's not that big. So that was actually, um, you know, for some people, I'm sure that's a, a very smart choice and, and something that would definitely help them, especially if they absolutely need a tub. I know some people need a tub, some don't. But that's pretty much it uh, for the inside of this townhouse. Let's go check out the uh, back patio area. All right, look at that. So decent in size, right? Enough for a couple of people just to hang out and uh, chill for a little bit. As you can see, everybody else do kind of have patios. Uh, if they don't have that bottom open area, then they get kind of extended patios. So 